I just started it up. This light is like extra bright today. I don't know if like it's hitting my glasses funny or I'm just really tired. My glasses look really dirty. Now that the light's on them, you can't really tell on the camera, which is good. Okay, it's better. Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another movie review. We are like halfway through 31 days of horror about now so we got a lot more movies to go through. Um, today we have one of I think only two. I think I'm only doing two Korean horror movies this month. Um, so this is the first of two Korean horror movies we'll be talking about this month. It's weird for me because I love Korean everything. Um, <laughs> but I finally got around to watching Hide and Seek, which I've only seen on Netflix for the past like two years, seriously, and just never got around to watching it. Um, I almost wrote down the wrong information from it because it looks like there, uh, there's going to be a Chinese remake of this. I started writing out the names and I'm like, these don't seem like Korean names. And then I realized my mistake. Um, Right, so <laughs> Hide and Seek is a movie about a family, um, particularly the father, uh, Sung Su, who is trying to look for his long lost stepbrother because all these bad things keep happening and it seems like somebody is targeting his family. I hear Daisy out there. Um, somebody is targeting his family and he thinks it's his brother. Um, as you find out through the movie, they have, they had kind of like a, um, a falling out, I'll call it, um, a falling out in their past. So when you see what happened, like, you know, you can see why Sung Su naturally assumes, uh, it's his brother doing all of this. So basically it's, about Sung Soo trying to protect his family and try to catch his brother, basically. But uh, there's there's some other twists and turns in there um, involving some uh, lady he runs into in the apartment pop <laughs> in the apartment complex where uh, his brother was living. Um, Juhi, Juhi, and. Um, her daughter Pyonghua. Ooh, sorry I shook that. Um, her daughter Pyonghua. Um, right. So, what I liked about it, this movie was so scary. Seriously, um, it's one of those like, it's not, it's not like a supernatural movie like um, the Whispering Corridors or anything like that. It wasn't like a ghost story or paranormal type thing. This was just like straight up like scary people doing scary things. Um, <laughs> so the monster is definitely a human being in this. Um, and of all like of all the Korean horror movies I've watched, whether I've talked about it on here or not, um, of all the Korean horror movies I've watched, the best ones that I enjoy are the ones where the monster is a man. For example, like I saw the devil was like, perfection in film form um <laughs> whereas not that i didn't think like whispering corridors was bad i just didn't find it as scary as these where it's a person being crazy and scary um so this is no <laughs> no exception um i just find that south korean directors do this really well like they can really tap into like the fears of just like people in general and parents and this is this movie is definitely like a parent's worst nightmare so if you have children maybe don't watch this <laughs> um it's definitely a parent's worst nightmare um and it stays with you it's like kind of like it's that kind of like paranoia and that scariness that like stays with you and makes you look over your shoulder for a couple of days after uh, you're done watching the movie. Um, what I didn't like about it, I don't really have anything. <laughs> and it's the kind of, it was the kind of like 
like the subject of it. So basically like Sung Soo's brother in it, like the person who's targeting Sung Soo and his family, um, <laughs> uh, like so basically like the essence of the movie is like is hide and seek. So it opens and closes with um, with kind of like a voiceover like like in a kind of like a gossipy manner saying like you know have you heard about like these squatters that will stay in people's houses secretly and not know like and the family doesn't know that they're staying there so that's kind of like the premise for the movie almost it's like the underlying theme here um and you kind of understand how this villain is accomplishing this like as the movie goes on um i'm just trying to speak in the like the most vague term po terms possible so don't give anything away because like you just need to go watch it it's really good so i really don't want to give anything away um so that's the basic like theme for the movie but this person like consistently like tries to draw the parents away from um the parent by the parents i mean um Sung Soo and his wife Minji um, tries to draw them away from their two children and go after the two children, which is why I said this is like a parent's worst nightmare. Um, <laughs> it's like stranger danger to the max. Um, so it's like, and that that type of theme like just like totally transcends like nations, and and that's just something that is just scary all the time to everybody <laughs> to all humans um i i think anyway um because i feel like a lot of horror movies tap into like cultural differences as well so there's certain things that you know the japanese people because of like their culture and their history might find scarier than we find scary you know what i mean um <laughs> that's what i'm trying to get at so i feel like this is this movie like it tackles a subject that is just scary to everybody so it's just like one of those like you don't even have to be into korean stuff like i am to enjoy this i don't think i think you're just gonna enjoy the movie um so overall 10 out of 10 do recommend go watch hide and seek i don't want to say it's on netflix if they've taken it off already they might have it was on there for a long time <laughs> They might have taken it off already, but if not, I'm sure it's on Amazon video. Like basically everything is on Amazon video and it might be on Shudder as well. I'll put it in the description where you can find it um, because I highly, highly recommend you watch this. Even if you have to pay two or three dollars for it, it's worth every penny. Um, <laughs> so if you've seen Hide and Seek, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. And until next time, Tomorrow, stay strange. Bye. All right, guys, be sure to follow me on all my social media over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking right down here to be notified whenever I post a new movie review, which is every day this month. So you can still subscribe, though. You know, you won't know what time I'm posting it, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs>